Your first time shouldn't be with just anybody. You want to do your first political ad for a real misogynist. It should be with a guy who sees women as purely sexual objects. Somebody who really believes women only care about birth control and abortions on demand. A guy who wants women to vote like all lady parts depend on it. The consequences are huge. You want to do it with a guy who thinks our cute little heads aren't informed about the economy or foreign policy. You want a guy who says, oh hey, I ended the war in Iraq, when really he wanted to keep thousands of troops in Iraq past the deadline negotiated before his administration. Or a guy who also panders to the gay community who only recently endorsed gay marriage a couple months ago because it was politically convenient. It's a fun game to say, who are you voting for? And they say, not Obama. And I say, why not? And they go, NDA, Patriot Act, Jonah Tax, Kill List, High Unemployment, National Debt. And I shrug because I like to perpetuate stereotypes that women only care about our private parts. Think about how you want to spend those four years. Independent and self-sufficient? No way. Being dependent on the government is so much easier. Women are too weak to make it without the government. It's also super uncool to be out and about and you say to somebody, did you vote for Obama? And they say, no, I care about my civil liberties. My first time in a sexist political ad was amazing. It was this line in the sand. Radical feminists thought it was cute, while self-respecting women thought it was gross and creepy. I sat in front of the camera. I compared women's participation in the political process with sexual intercourse. I set women back a couple of decades.